you know, obviously we're not playing playing the way we want to right now, but um, but we'll get it turned around here. But um, I'm having a blast, man. Childhood dream of mine to play for play for the Rangers. Does being a Ranger fan also mean being a Maverick fan? Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly, man, I wasn't a huge basketball football fan, but I mean, I did I do root for the Mavericks. I do root for the Cowboys. Um, you know, I was up in Boston for a long time, so I kind of got turned into a Patriot Patriots fan as well. But um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of 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 the Metroplex area um, sports teams, that's for sure. Now, how does that work when a, another team in the Metroplex is in the middle of the postseason? But as a baseball player, you guys pretty much play every single day. Are you able to keep up with that, or is it a priority for guys on the team or not so much? Yeah, I mean, I think we, we pay attention to it. Um, we've got some Mavericks fans on the team, um, and, you know, we're rooting for, you know, we're rooting for those guys. And, and uh, you know, but, but like you said, man, we play every day. So we're kind of, you know, we're kind of tied up in our, in our own thing right now. We're trying to get out of this road slump and, um, but we pay attention to, to, to what's going on and, and we root for those guys and, and wish them, you know, wish them the best. Yeah, Brock, you, you talked you talked about you guys are in a little bit of a slump right now. As a veteran player, is it something that you do you do you walk into the locker room with the guys around and, and try and lighten things up, have fun? I mean, how do you guys, uh, you know, manage it really day to day and, and, and kind of keeping things going? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. You got to try you got to try and take it as if, you know, we're not in the slump, you know, it's got to be, you know, we, we play every single night, you know, it was the off day yesterday was, was big for us. We were able to, to get away for, for a day and, and not really think about baseball, but um, you kind of got to have a short memory in this game. Um, you know, we're going through it right now. Um, you know, guys are having tough, tough goes. We're having a tough go as a team. It doesn't seem, seem like anything's going right, but you know, we got a game every, every single day. So we've got to, we got to focus on, on the game that night and try and try and keep things as, as light as possible and as loose as possible. And, you know, we'll get out of it. Um, you know, it just, sometimes it seems harder, harder than others. Um, baseball is a tough game and, and, um, you know, we're, we're going through it right now as a, as a, as a team, but, um, but like I said, we gotta, we gotta focus on, on the game each night and, and, you know, try and end this thing. Is it, is it simple as focus and all that? Or is it like, Hey, you just, We'll t- you'll take anything right now, fluky win, whatever, uh, wild pitch win. What is that? Is that kind of what you're trying to do right now? Just try and just keep focused on doing the right things, and and, and the wins will come. Yeah, I mean, I think whenever whenever teams are going through little skids, I think I think guys kind of kind of put too much pressure on themselves, and 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 you know, tr- you know, try and not. Um, try and not lose the game as opposed to trying to win the game. Um, and, you know, you, you put too much pressure on yourself. You're going to go out. You're not going to be able to perform um, like you're capable of doing. So I think I think for for guys who are struggling, for teams who are struggling, it's about going out and just doing the little things. And, and like you said, man, we'll take it any way we can get it right now. Um, a win is a win in the big leagues, and they're hard to come by. So um, you want to give us a pass ball win or a fluky win, we'll take it, that's for sure. It's Brock Holt with you here on your home of the Rangers. So going in to uh, take on the Rockies tonight, does does that get the guys talking as far as it being uh, short fences and all that elevated up there, chance to swing for the fences a little bit? Or how do you approach that when you're going into a, a tiny ballpark like it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's actually a big ballpark, but it just, I think, you know, it plays, you know, plays a little bit smaller. Um, the outfield's big. There's a lot of room. But, I mean, obviously guys know about Colorado and, and it's a good place to hit, but can't really focus on, you know, trying to, you know, trying to hit homers and, we're, you know, we'll, that's the way you get yourself out. So we just got to kind of do what, do what we're good at and, and, you know, hit, hit the ball hard, work on seeing the ball, hitting the ball hard and, and, and let it go where it goes. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully that's what, that's what we'll do these, these next three games, kind of get it going a little bit. All right, Brock, now it's time to ask the important questions. We were sitting here before you came on and um, we've all been a fan of your mustache at times. Mm-hmm. It's an incredible mustache. Then we stumbled upon that your middle name is Wyatt. And Brian says that with the mustache, you look like Doc Holliday. You look like Val Kilmer. And Doc, and, and yeah, a little bit. That was a, I was really impressed. Doc Holliday is one of our favorites. Are you named after Wyatt Earp? And how big of a role has the movie Tombstone played in your entire life? Uh, um, actually, I don't believe I am named after Wyatt Earp. I think Wyatt is just a name my mom and dad like. Um which, you know, it, it fits well. I feel like Brock Wyatt just kind of rolls off the tongue uh, pretty well. Um, I actually just trimmed my mustache up not too long ago, but realized that I need to bring it back. So yeah. I'm, in the pro- I'm in the process of doing that right now as we speak. 
Um, it'll take me take me a little while, week or two, to to, to get it to get it going. But um, but but no, I, I grew that mustache in quarantine last year and just kind of fell in love with it. I had it for a while, and and then I kind of fell out of love with it. And uh, you know, now I think it's it's time to time to bring it back. Um, so so it'll be back here here shortly. 